All right, guys. I was watching this shit with the family. Had to step had to step away to come make this video real quick. Um, before I actually get into the game and give respect, um, what's actually funny about you know what's funny about this shit? All week I've heard we had no fucking chance. You're gonna get blown out. We ain't shit. Everybody wants to see the Patriots and Steelers. Like Mac Main talking that shit, fucking say we're gonna get blown out, we have no chance in hell, you're gonna get your ass beat. All this other crazy shit, man, how did that shit work out? Never once did I say that this game was gonna be a blowout on either fashion. I knew, I knew it was going to be a very different game from week five. I mean, you guys are the fucking Steelers. You got a great team. I knew it wasn't going to be just like week five. But I knew it was going I knew this game was being close. It was going to be, I did say ugly, but you know, it kind of ended up being a pretty high scoring affair. But I knew the shit was going to be close. And you talking about you going to blow, and you talking about you going to blow us out. Man, get your old Alzheimer's having ass. Back in your fucking uh, wood rocking chair, and shut the fuck up. Hold this, hold this hell. And you know what? I'll accept the fact that I made the worst video you've ever seen. And I guess what? You can accept these two L's and the gift of jagging off. Drink it in, man. And steal fifty eight. Four videos you put out about me, and in one of them you said thirty one to three. You actually scored a little bit more than you thought. But you still, but you still couldn't stop us. Leonard Fournette ran all over your ass, and Blake Bortles played good. So it was a good, it was a good week, buddy. But you're on the short end of the stick, pops. Well, actually, now I guess you can call me daddy now, motherfucker. <laughs> but anyway, to the rest of you guys, you know, shout out to Steel Maiden, Steel Matic, um, Steel Jackson. Eric of Steel, Brew and Steel. I'm trying to think of who I'm trying to think of who else. The Renegade. You know, this was this was a really fun week, man. And I was excited for this game. And you know what? You guys brought it today. You guys are a great fucking team. There's no doubt about that. I mean, and Ant and I give all the respect in the world to Antonio Brown. This guy literally showed today why he is the best receiver in the NFL. And yes, this coming from me. Antonio Brown is definitely the best receiver in the NFL. He was putting up numbers and making ridiculous catches on, you know, Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye, two of the best cornerbacks in the league. So, all the respect in the world to Antonio Antonio Brown. And um, Ben Roethlisberger, you could, tell he, you could tell he wanted it, man. You really could tell. He went from having one of the worst games of his career to Week 5, did in a losing effort, putting up huge numbers and played a great game. There's no doubt about that. But it was just something about this game where we wanted it a little bit more. Like I said, Blake Bortles, he played very good today. You know, 200 yards and a touchdown. I know it wasn't spectacular, but, you know, that's really – you can't really expect that from him. This is the kind of game we needed from him. The guy – and like I've been saying, Blake Bortles is not a great quarterback. He probably never will be an elite quarterback. But he found the way to win, period. And in a game like this, that's all you can ask for. And uh, Leonard Fournette might have had one of the best games of his career today. Like, over 100 yards, three touchdowns. Guy was amazing. Yacht and Gakwe came up, had a big strip sack. That was our only defensive t touchdown. And um, overall, just, I mean, our defense gave up some big plays. But like I said, Antonio Brown's the best receiver in the NFL. So, you had to expect that. And we need, and like the media was saying, we need to score ten, more than 10 to win. We did that today. And now, it's, and now it's on to New England. And the best, and the best, and I can't wait for this shit because Patriots fans talking like, oh, they wanted the rematch with the Steelers and it's what the media wants to see. Like, bro, do you really think I give a fuck about putting more money in the pocket of Roger Goodell? Fuck that shit. The fans don't want to see Pittsburgh and New England again. I don't know if you guys realize, but outside of Boston, the rest of the fucking league hates you. And I think the and you know what? Probably every other fan base is going to have our back. So 
Get ready for this shit. And you talking about the media wanted to say it. That's just another way of saying you don't want to play us because you knew you, we are your biggest threat in the AFC. And I'm not saying we're definitely going to win this game because, you know, it's the Patriots. Tom Brady's a great fucking quarterback. Bill Belichick might be the greatest coach of all time. I mean, you know, I'm not saying we're definitely going to win this game, but we're going to give you a lot more of a fight than what the Titans gave you. I promise you that. So I'll see y'all back when I make the video about the, about the Patriots. But for now, I'm gonna celebrate this shit, man. And the bet was well, this season's been incredible, man. And um, hopefully this isn't the end, but we'll see next week. Until then, let's go Jags. Shout out to genjag.com and Duval. Let's go Jags.